Okay, working on the chicken coop today and uh, methane digester in this video. It'll be our goals. But right now I'm just making little cutouts in the back of the coops and the roosts. So that way I can get their eggs. Chickens are in there. All right, now I can access the eggs no problem. Um, real simple, horn board underneath. Now is the hand, I mean the locking mechanism. Pull this down, get my eggs, clean up the shit, blah, blah, blah. Put it back up, bam, good to go. That is uh, some engineering, like redneck backwoods engineering or whatever. Uh, still no real door. I'm still debating that. All right, got the uh, manure in those bags. Oh, about 100 and something pounds probably. A lot of manure. Gonna need to add a lot of water to it. But uh, let's see about loading up this poop into this thing. Try not to touch the phone with my left hand because it's covered in shit. Stinky. Oh man, look at it. It's like smoking, bro. I think I could fucking zap that on fire already. That's crazy. Already smoking, it's just my poop. Okay. Let's set the phone down. Hope this is a good angle. Some stinky shit with lots of worms. That is beautiful. Oh man. Okay. Here's the poop. Stinky. But now I don't ever have to buy methane. I need to add a Fill this up the rest of the way with water, pretty much. And let it do its thing. Um, can't see too many of the worms up here because I chopped them all up. But. Yep, I do, I do. nice calm morning this morning i'm gonna run into town today and get some uh supplies for the methane digester have to carry this tub over to the other one because that will be where the gas is gonna flow into um need a lot more water for my methane digester so probably gonna grab fill up my water bags use that hopefully 10 gallons of water will be enough for now probably need like 20 30 gallons of water I'll uh, just collect rain. Call it good over time. I'll get it good over time. Um, yeah, but that's the plans today. I'm going to finish the methane digester. Uh, my neighbor brought me a plant yesterday. One of my neighbors. Um, forget what he called it, but it's looking a little ugly. I'm going to try to save it, but I'm so grateful for it because it is a fruit plant. So hopefully I can save it. Um, probably has a lot to do with whatever this is growing in here with it. Um, yeah, probably has a big deal. And then all of this, it looks like uh, it's just not got its own soil in here. And then I bet it's root bound. Yeah, it just needs cleaner soil. I bet it'd be good brand new in a week or two. Um, one more thing before I uh, build the methane digester. This is the area that I've flattened out for the tent platform to go and for the tent to go. And then probably cut it that way. But look at how good the sunlight is coming through. Like This is one of the best sunrises I've had since we've been here. But uh, it's just coming through so nice. Look at that bright light, bro. Look 
crazy. And then, yeah, this is beautiful. This will be a nice spot. Real perfect. Real open area, so I won't have, so I can clear all this. Not really feel bad. Really not that many trees back here, though. It sucks that all the trees are in the front where I have to put a driveway. What are the odds? And then I've got my uh, berry bush right here. I know the video just all looks like green shrubs, but there's a different one. And then, oh, I think I might have another berry bush right there, actually. Let me go look closer. This one. It might just be a different type of bush. And then, this will be perfect. But yeah, plans to build the deck here, extend it like this way. And then, uh, like maybe have the tent extend maybe move the tent over here so like we're coming that's the edge is that tree and then we can push the deck that way another 16 feet put a nice roof over it the sun is going like this every day so i'm thinking if i have uh, the roof kind of angled this way it will be perfect um for the solar I think car's looking for a place to use the restroom. Yeah. So I got a new panel from a neighbor. It was super awesome that they were here. Um, I actually found them on Facebook Marketplace and then they were selling it. They were like, yeah, I'm in the neighborhood too. But look, it's actually producing power. And it's like kind of cloudy right now. You can't even see the sun clearly. My other panel wasn't producing any power. This fixes everything, bro. Look, we're getting almost 28 watts it's getting a little bit sunnier but oh man this is so perfect i'm gonna have to get me uh another one of these i guess that's crazy that actually relieves so much stress this other panel is complete junk oh man wow that's perfect all right just got back from town solar panel was running all day um they get back and the sun was over there so all of this trees are actually covering the panel so it's completely shaded um that being said only ended up getting up to 51 percent charge but that is a lot more than i have had this whole time probably charged my phone for like a good week um i got four by fours to move the deck super easy i got the piping the drill bits the saws, the chisel, a new tarp, um, all kinds of improvements going to happen. But now I can finish the methane digester and finish this video uh, probably tomorrow. Run to a uh, neighbor's bar with drill and then get that done. Super excited. But I'm going to go find some sugar cane. I know there's a couple lots in the neighborhood with sugar cane that are uh, unoccupied. So they're free grabs. The dogs. Oh, and I got these shoes now. They look stupid, but oh man, they are so much better because these just hold moisture and they don't let your feet breathe. Out here in this wet weather, with the mud, I need something easy to slip on and off so that my feet can breathe for uh, checking on the chickens and stuff. Golden. Sorry, I'm real hungry also wanted to make this video anyway i'm gonna show you guys how to do this methane digester now grab me a whole stick of the sugar cane i had uh, already grabbed a branch off of it well last time i was here and i'm actually growing that branch back see it's actually growing but uh i figured i'd just grab this branch since i had broken it I don't know if it's any good though. It looks like half of it's already started to dry out or some of it. See right here, starting to dry out. Right over here still looks golden. Anyway, I also put up the tarp just now. So that way it'll actually be a nice dry area in front of the tent. It's just temporary, the tarp, uh, just to see, I mean, not just to see. Um, I wanted to replace the other tarp right away just cause it's, not doing me any good, but I will definitely need a bigger tarp. Well, finding another use for this tarp. 
only a 10 by 8. I should have gotten like a 20 by 10. Or, uh, yeah, 20 by 10 probably would be cool. I'll hold it for you. Let me chew it. Time to make this methane digester. I've got uh, the empty barrel here. The poop filled barrel is still down the trail. Um, basically, what all I've gotten to do my uh, pipes going in and out is, first of all, I got a uh, shower drain for the PVC pipe to go into. And then I got these which are shower head drain i mean not shower head uh hot water heater drain pan adapters but they have the uh bulkhead and uh washer for about two bucks these are about 10 bucks and then this little set of drill bits about 35 bucks so a bit of an investment up front um and the barrel was 30 dollars so we're in it about 200 bucks. Um, hopefully, I produce more methane than $200 worth of propane. Well, I guess all these parts are going to be reusable uh, long term, like probably for years. So, but anyway, here's the plan I'm going to drill a hole here, here, and here, inlet, outlet gas pretty simple the inlet tube needs to come below the water level so say the water level is right here the inlet tube needs to be about right here about halfway down the outlet tube needs to be probably almost all the way down um that way just mostly liquids so it's actually i'm not sure i need to double check okay i'm not too sure um very few diagrams of barrels, hard for me to find. <clears throat> what I do know is there needs to be two holes. The outlet tube needs to be lower than the inlet tube. So the inlet tube will probably be like up here. The outlet tube will probably just stay like right here and turn right away. So anyway, I'm gonna drill the, two, the three holes and then worry about the piping next. <laughs> Okay, I got all the uh, holes drilled now. Um, I'm gonna hit them with a little bit of lava rock just to like smooth out the edges a little bit. Okay, all the holes are done and drilled. I messed up. I am missing one of these rubber gaskets inside of my shower thing. Um, I'm pretty sure I know where it is. It's on some random PVC pipe uh, that I ended up leaving at the store that day because it was uh, not going to be the time for it. So now all I have is this plastic ring. It's not going to do the job. So, not too sure about that, but uh, figure it out later. All right, methane digester is basically done. Um, I just need to attach this to uh, the other barrel. I'm gonna be good. Um, this is my inlet tube on the bottom of it. All the way down there. I went ahead and cut uh, half of the pipe off, and then uh, that way it can have extra outlet then this is the outlet pipe all my excess will run uh, down there I'll put a five gallon bucket down there and it'll be golden quickly anytime I add a gallon here and this tank is full a gallon will come out of there so 
that's the plan. And then uh, that'll give me liquid fertilizer, which I can use anywhere. Then this will be my gas outlet tube, which will go into the other container, which I'm going to move this now to over there to show you guys. But this horn is uh, definitely airtight. It's got a good uh, grab. This one over here, not not airtight. So I'm going to try and get that uh, that rubber gasket sometime soon uh, because that's definitely going to cause issues with methane production. This is with the lid off to show you guys. Um, this cut down here, see it came up here. And that way it'll just pump out a lot easier. Um, this is the outlet tube. I was thinking about cutting a spot here and then uh, stopping that because I have no way to like make it stay at the height. But I have other ideas too, so I'll probably try those first. Ended up being the perfect amount of pipe though. And then I still have this one. It's about 10 feet of piping. All right, it's all connected, all hooked up. Um, the only thing missing, of course, is this gasket here to uh, seal this in. Thinking about putting some mud for now. Um, oh, and then I'm gonna put a board. I'm not sure. I guess that's where that wants to sit. I want it to sit like that. I need like a little board right here to hold it still. Or a zip tie. Piece of rope. I'm not sure. I have to experiment. But that's it. My thing digester is complete. Um, now I just need to get an outlet tube for the gas tank. Basically, you put your junk into here. Goes in there. Works like a cow stomach. It farts. The farts go up the tube into the barrel. Then you use those farts to cook whatever. You can burn that gas. Um, anything extra that's not gas, that, that will be liquid fertilizer, will come out of here. And that can be used in your garden or whatever. And what all you put into this is 30% uh, nitrogen. Or I mean, 30 to 1 ratio of nitrogen to carbon. Uh, I think it's carbon that actually needs to go in there, not nitrogen. And then uh, you want to put in methane -ness stuff, so like poop, uh, cow poop, chicken poop, duck poop is really, really good. And then you're going to get methane production um, which in the future. I'm sure we'll get some. Uh, Got to get a funnel for this, like a real big one, because that's going to be pretty hard to get stuff into that little tube. And then figure out this being probably about right here. And then uh, see if this will outlet anything. Should outlet liquids. But this will probably take about a, a week or two now to uh, build up gases and do everything that I want it to. But I'm just glad to actually have it done. Have it ready so it's actually going to start working. Got these air sealed. Um, some people might be wondering, why the heck would I choose metal? Uh, that's what I had access to. I'm on an island not very many things here and if there are things here they're expensive um so it's hard to uh do this cost effectively with plastic barrels plastic barrels would have been like over 200 dollars per barrel these were 30 bucks each but yeah that's it hope you guys enjoyed the methane digester video in the next one i'm going to be moving the tent to the back which is probably happening today and tomorrow the weather is clearing up um but uh, if you have any questions about methane digestion, just feel free to ask them. Anyway, aloha.